You're known as one of the tough guys from a from a tough era. Do you think the game was tougher back then? I've got great admiration for the blokes that play today. I'll tell you the only reason it probably was is you had to worry about your head a little bit more. Um, head eyes, elbows, knees, all that sort of stuff. You'd get up and play the ball without putting your, your hand on the ground because if you put your hand on the ground... Gone. Gone. Block, not surprisingly, the way you played, mate. You had your fair share injuries, yeah? Mick, where do I start? I dislocated, bo broke both thumbs. Yep. I dislocated an elbow, fractured cheek, torn bicep. Block, one of the big injuries you had through your career was, uh, was your sternum. Tell us a little bit about that. I cracked my sternum in a game. I've got a, an elbow right in the point of the, the chest. I can still remember the, the feeling of it was this. <coughs> you know, like I thought, wow, what's going on here? Terrible, terrible pain. But um, mate, back in those days, you, you got wrapped up and played on, didn't you? That's that's the way it was. When you broke your sternum, you continued to play on? Yeah, I did. I did. I used to I used to go in and, before the game, get a little bit of a needle in the chest. Was that a common thing back in the 80s, getting needled up with injuries? Uh, yes. I don't know if we're allowed to say that with all the young kids watching. It wasn't a good thing. But, mate, if you got a bad cut, they'd wrap your head up and push... You know, you go back out anyway. It was a, it, it was a sign that it was a badge of honour. If you, if you went off with a bad cut on your head and, and you didn't come back out, everyone would think you were, you were weak. Tell me about uh, Warren Ryan. Did, uh, what did he make of, of you getting the noodle? Well, he was a, he was a master manipulator. He used, to, uh, he used to... I used to go and get the deadening noodle before and then in front, in front of the team, they'd come and give me the real noodle. The coach would go, look what he's going through for you. I couldn't feel, I couldn't feel the noodle going in. The doctor would be digging around in there and give me a noodle. I'd be like, you know... <laughs> that was his way to motivate you know, motivate our team. So we, we, we look back, um, you know, coming through that era and that toughness that you came through. Do you still think rugby league's the toughest game in the world? Mick, there is not another game like rugby league, mate. When they talk about gladiatorial sports, it's, it's rugby league, mate. Steve Blocker-Roach, thanks for telling us your tough tales.